Sports Illustrated, one of the most famous publications in the world, has been caught red-handed using fake AI authors to write its articles. And when questioned about why it was doing this, it immediately deleted all traces of AI handiwork. Publication Futurism is responsible for uncovering this story, as they were told by a source, kept anonymous for protection, that some of the authors on the site weren't real. A quick Google of Drew Ortiz's face, an author reviewing products, leads to a website where his very likeness is available for sale, putting Sports Illustrated directly in the crosshairs of a journalist's worst nightmare. They have been completely replaced by a machine. It marks a terrifying milestone for artificial intelligence, as in the past news organisations such as BuzzFeed were extremely transparent about their use of AI, which invited grumblings and criticism, but at least they were upfront. However, it just goes to show how pervasive the technology has become, despite those who oppose it, and it's a shame one of the most famous publications in the world thought it okay to utilise it in place of real people. After all, whilst BuzzFeed News decided to use AI to reduce costs and farm content, it inevitably did not save the ship from sinking and the organisation was shut down earlier this year. It's worth pointing out Sports Illustrated has had its own share of financial woes, being acquisitioned by the Arena Group in 2019, so perhaps they decided if no one noticed then it could save them a couple of bucks. But oh boy, did people notice, as the writing of an AI always just sounds a bit off, like an alien doing their best impression of a human being, or in this instance, like a flawed large language model. After all, it was only when they were exposed that they decided to remove all evidence of AI use and in doing so brought attention to their failing credibility. In response, Sports Illustrated says it wasn't them per se who bought the AI-generated profiles and implies it was a third-party advertiser called Advon who they'd partnered with, although the fact remains that they still allowed the content to be published despite it sounding extremely weird, demonstrating a lack of high editing standards. It marks an ever-growing shift toward adoption of the tool and the erosion of the journalistic institutions. If a credible organisation such as Sports Illustrated has fallen to AI, then what other major publications are using brought for authors that do not exist, replacing genuine writing talent? In short, this marks a scary day for people who spend years learning how to be the best at what they do, only to be replaced by subpar creativity at the hands of the once giant magazine institutions. See you next time on Lessons in Internet Culture.